Chris Miller with Altorfer here, bringing you the second set of videos on the new C-Series Rogator. Today, of course, versus the competition. A summer ago, you saw us shoot a set of videos where we compared a B-Series, last year's Rogator versus a C-Series uh, new production, displaying, of course, product recirculation back to tank. An industry-leading new feature brought to you only by Agco with the Rogator machine. As you're watching in the video, you see we spray with water first. You see we trigger the master switches. Both machines are spraying clear water. You'll see us introduce the blue dye. You see uh, putting the blue dye in the John Deere, the same amount of blue dye in the Rogator. As you're watching the video, what you're seeing is the Rogator right now is doing a full boom recirculation. So right now, product is coming up and over the boom rack. It's flowing to the end of the boom and it's returning back down center and then back to tank. It's creating its full recovery recirculation process right now in the video. To the competitive machine, of course, we introduced the blue dye, and right now the competitive machine is only able to mix the blue dye within its tank. It doesn't have any ability to put it out through the boom until we spray the boom to the ground. So as you're watching the video right now, you see that the John Deere operator and the Rogator operator have kicked their master switch on at the exact same time. A couple of things apparent. The Rogator is immediately blue to the ground with product recirculation. And it's an immediate on because of our new e-stop nozzle body mounted on each nozzle. You'll notice on the competitive rig, momentarily there was a split second where the ball valves had to rotate to on. So we have that gap between the ball valve and the spray tip, something we've always battled for years with conventional sprayers. We had both machines set at the same standby pressure of 40 PSI and 15 mile an hour. So flow through the boom would be equal product comes up and over the boom mast, hits the Y manifold, and then goes to each wet pipe section. 11 total wet pipe sections on the competitive rig, therefore 22 deadhead areas with a cap on each end. We brought an industry solution uh, to probably one of the biggest problems we face with post sprayers, wasting product and having to spray test in our corners or basically create hot zone areas. We've had tremendous success this year with the C-Series Rogator here in the spring summer of 2018. Operators have found exactly what we had thought, no more charging booms. When they go from corn to soybeans and back again with the constant rinse out procedures, we don't have the end caps or any deadhead areas to have to worry about product buildup and clean out. I appreciate you taking the time here today with us to watch the videos against the competitors. Hope you'll find it enjoyable.